She's lost 200 pounds, guys. 200 pounds. And she's got 50 pounds to go. I'm talking about tonight's guest, Carissa Michelle, right here at Strength Addicts on Instagram Live, brought to you courtesy of TitanMedicalCenter.com, your go-to source for all the amazing therapies like Nectar of the Gods, the new Aries Therapy, the ECA Plus Stack, and so much more. So I'm going to bring her on. I appreciate you guys watching this. Most people have been watching him on replay as well as YouTube and Facebook. TikTok also. We're on TikTok. How do you like that? Uh, what's up, Snacks? How's it going? What's up, Joey Fit MD? Seth Jordan in the house. I saw a post from Benny. He's in the hospital, it looks like, or maybe he's not. Maybe it's an old picture. I don't know. It's got me very worried. So if you guys head on over to Benny Almendarez's Instagram, be sure to show him your support. B Lange in the house. What's up? So I'm going to bring Carissa on because I, I just, you know, you know, I had her on uh, some time ago when I was running a Legion, and we did a great interview. Still losing weight. What's up? Hey. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. So 200 pounds already. That's insane. When we did the interview before, I know you'd lost, you know, a ton, but that's a lot. Yeah, 200 total. Well, 202 total. Nice. And you have 50 pounds to go, you said? For my first part of my goal, but I keep changing my goal like every month. <laughs> why, why do you suppose you do that? Because I lost over 100 pounds uh, when PJ gave me that amazing opportunity. But as I got closer to one goal, I, I didn't want it to end. Like I like playing these little games with myself. Like I got a trip in three weeks. I want to see how, you know, I, I, I don't want to see how low I can go, but I want to see how much I can progress. Right, exactly. So my thing is, is I went from I want to be under 200 to I want to be 160. Now I want to be 135. And I want to compete. Oh, you do want to compete. Okay. Officially, yeah. In what division? Um, physique. In physique. Wow, interesting. And so and so you have a gym in Michigan uh, with Andy, your boyfriend, or a long term. Is it bo husband or boyfriend? Still boyfriend for now. <laughs> and um, and so you said it's it's where is the gym again? Um, it is in Roseville, Michigan, LA Fitness, and we're on Thirteen Mile and Gratiot, right by a Kroger. Mm, nice. So kind of like Detroitish, sort of. Kinda. It's not too far from Detroit. Gotcha, gotcha. And um, it's very interesting to me because, like, I mean, you are not. I don't want to say I hate the word just, but you are not just doing transformation. Like you are very much in the gym all the time. It's like your life, right? A hundred percent. I have upped my training to I'm coming before work and after work. Hmm. Do you feel that that helps you with, with uh, accountability, with motivation to just be around people that are, you know, always training and always trying to do what it is you're doing? Um. Yeah, it definitely, um, kind of keeps me going and honestly when I come in the morning when there's like no one here mm -hmm. I do my thing listen to my music I act a fool lift mm -hmm. as heavy as I can in the morning and then I'm actually having a great day at work it's changed my mood at, at the office definitely uh let's see here gzsc23 says keep going uh Kimmy you. look great and Kim I love you <laughs> do you feel like, I'm not trying to be like Oprah Winfrey here, but like, I, I, I want to ask good questions. And these are questions that I'm thinking about. Do you feel that you've made it a little bit easier for the everyday person that really wants to get in shape and train, but that, let's be honest, maybe a jacked bodybuilder, for example, might be too intimidating for them to like, do you think you've, you've helped bridge that gap a little bit? Yeah, actually, I'm that's 100% true because most of Andy cl Andy's clients I'm actually working with as well. So I can learn how to become a trainer. And um, most of them are kind of like, uh, I don't know. And then <laughs> look at Andy already in it. Um, I, I try to help tell them like, listen, you may look the way you do and you want to be a certain physique. Well, I'm on my process. Let's work out together. And um, we do have a client. Her name is Brittany. Um, she used to be 800 pounds, and she's now, you know, working out with us. 
and I actually get to work out with her tomorrow. I'm super excited, but she's very motivated. She's definitely me when I was 400. And I would think that at 800 pounds, I would think that, you know, a lot of people would feel like, you know, it, 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 there's just no, there's just no way out. You know, just like, I felt that way 300 and I almost got the 400, you know, I probably did get the 400, but I'm also like six, four, but that's just me making excuses. That's not healthy at all. You know? but there's, there comes a point where I think people like just kind of give up and, and to be able to like, mm -hmm. you know, and I think, I think you're so powerful. Uh, you're so powerful. And again, being in that gym environment, like, I honestly think, I know you've been on TV before, but I really think you should be on more because I really feel like the the Jack, nothing against the Jack Bodybuilder, but they, you're, their, their story is not your story. Your, right. Their story is not going to inspire people that are 800 pounds, 400 pounds. You know, it, it's just not, it's not gonna, and, and not just that, but like also uh, uh, mothers, you know, that are trying to get back mm -hmm. and huge emotional, psychological obstacle to overcome. I don't think that the shredded, bodybuilder types really I don't think they, they have any any cohesion with them. Right. Of course. Like in my honest opinion, like when when somebody who's in a weight loss transformation and they see somebody who has had that success, that mm -hmm. kind of pushes them even further, which is why like, yeah, I post a lot of like my old weight versus my new weight. I post a lot because I want to help like say, hey, it's possible. Just you know, follow me and I'll take care of you. That's why we started the online fitness too, to where we could reach not just Michigan. What's your What's your take? I guess on judgment because you know, like Planet Fitness is a judgment free zone, but like as much as they write it on the walls, and I do feel like they try to implement that, they really can't because people are always going to be left to their to their own insecurities and their own sort mm -hmm. of like backwardness, you know. And I've seen people that are you know trying to take that for the Planet. Fitness. They get the weird, and that can be disheartening. All it could take is one weird look, one nasty comment, and they'll turn around and never come back. So, like, how do you uh, help folks that want to get in shape to overcome others? So, in the beginning, when I was, you know, my biggest, and I started going to the gym, I didn't like people watching me. I'm like, oh no, they're watching me. What's, what are they thinking? Are they judging me now? To me, if somebody is watching me work out and I'm breaking a sweat and everything like that, that means I'm motivating them to go harder. Whether, like, that's just what my mindset's going to instantly say. I am going hard, and then they're staring at me watching me do it. So that's going to push them even harder eventually. And if they have a judgment, well, guess what? I'm doing my thing kind of thing. You know, I'm, I'm a huge believer in social media. Like, to me, like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm always promoting Instagram and Twitter and Facebook, but I think for you and Andy, uh, but more for you, I think that a website or a blog would be the way to go where you could like on a daily, even though Nessie, the thing is that you've lost 200. So, you know, I wish I would have done this while I lost 200. I've already lost 200. Now I'm just going to lose 50. That's not that big of a deal, but, but it is because it's not just you losing 50 whole picture, you know, the so whether it's you the whole story write or a blog or you write an ebook I, I think a blog or really a website would be the way to go because i think that is great the TV shows and maybe you know somewhere where they can go and see it all but not an instagram or a facebook because those are controlled zuckerbergs or whoever whereas your website is you yourself and you you know, you right. know you what goes out and what doesn't and you may want to put out something that's just really really blunt that certain people but if it's your story it, it, it needs to be the light of death i was thinking about doing a vlog at some point um i just need to get the equipment <laughs> yeah but i think i think you know I, yeah, the equipment's important and the backdrops and the logos and all that that's all important but but and i know you know this but the most important thing is the story the content mm -hmm have that you know so i would i would definitely work on that like i know it's just like one more thing to do and you don't have that much time anyways but what's up kim but i i would totally do it because i think that is going to be the vehicle that's because look uh carissa as soon as like you know shows whether they be real, online you know, whether it be uh, joe rogan so anything i mean 
like your story is very, very powerful. I mean, it, you know, and just so you did it, you didn't do it loaded up on drugs. You didn't do it like starving yourself. You didn't do it by having a bad relationship with food. You did it like the best possible way. Right. I became, and I, honestly, I'm, I'm obsessed with the gym. I'm seven days a week, Monday through Friday. I'm two times a day. Mm -hmm. And, you know, eating is a big thing. And I feel like if I can try to share, you know, the, the way that I did it, granted, you know, sometimes I did fall off, like in a negative way, but then I started bringing myself up and now I'm 100% healthy. But, but I think I think that that and like Josh says, you know, it's a good thing to have that story and have it out there the way you do. Congrats. And then Brian in the house as well. Thank you so much guys for coming by on the muscles and but I think that it's important that you, had, that you fell off the wagon. I think it's important that you have, you know, uh, like a peachy keen day every day because that's not realistic. And I think that, right. the, or, yeah, I think the more human you are, uh, including your, your failures and including the, those times where you just wanted to give up, that is what also makes you so relatable to people, you know? And I think right. it's important because I think that rate you're going, you're going to get to a point where you're going to fit perfectly into that women's physique division and you're going to explain to people that you didn't wake up looking like that. Right. I had a lot of hard work. <laughs> you know, they're going to think that you're one of these people that just look at the weights and you have the body. They're not going to know. That's why I think the vlog or the blog or the website or the ebook are so important so that, yeah, you're always going to have to like explain where you came from the way that you ideally want to look like, but you look that body of work that each other like out to go to right yeah that's a good idea and i think i think sponsorships are a good thing that you do stuff with blackstone and i'm you know i still have a great relationship with them and i know that that uh you know there's there's clothing companies and everything but i don't want blackstone would not profit off of you but other companies would you know they'd be like, oh let's tell your story tell them you use this supplement wore this shirt this is what really you know so that's why i think it's just better if you get to control driver's seat of, of a website or a blog. I like that. Because, you know, when I lost, when I lost uh, all that weight, you know, PJ, like, he had this thing going. Was that, he never said, like, I want to fill out. But I did use a lot of the blocks, and they really, really helped. But, you know, that's the thing, though. Like, one, you know, especially in the fitness industry, credibility is, like, the most important. So you want to guard that. And I know that you do, but about too, like your relationship because I think automatically people will assume, not going to do soon but they'll assume that you know you were hurting yourself or you were like doing bad diets or which none of it is true but like how do you do like, kitchen wise um sorry one second for some reason you I'm going to connect to the wi oh no this wi-fi real quick so okay no problem and so while she's doing that, I just want to like just reiterate a lot of people, they see transformations and they automatically think starvation, bad relationship with food, fad diets, supplements, when in reality it can be done the right way. And I think you did it the right way. You better know. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's fine. This is, this is what it's all about. This is social media and then good times and the bad times. So, so what was it like for you in terms of nutrition getting, you know, each weight loss goal? I went from eating fast food, like breakfast, lunch, and dinner, basically, and then still being hungry after that. Then the accident happened. Then, yes, I did kind of stop eating for a little bit. And then I would, when I did eat a lot, I would, you know, I would make myself throw up and then I went back to eating bad again. And then I met Andy and he started doing my nutrition. So now I'm like chicken, rice, veggies. Um, I do eat like turkey and I'm back to eating an actual healthy amount. But every now and then, you know, when you lose a whole lot of weight and you, you know, you were bullied or whatever. It's kind of mental to where 
for a, a little bit, like once I started really seeing progress, I was like, okay, well, I'm going to cut my meals even smaller. But I realized that was not good. And now I'm back to eating like 12, 1300 calories a day, burning just a, the same amount, but I'm full. I'm actually eating. I'm, when I'm not eating, I have an alarm tells me to eat. So it it's, it's just takes a lot out of you trying to focus on actually getting the food and the nutrients that you need. And, and, and this is not the correct format, not to, but I'm just, just going to kind of preface it. When you touched upon um, the throwing up part, even if that was a very small time, a very dark time, the fact that you even mentioned that, Carissa, is so powerful because most people wouldn't. And then the bullying you kind of brushed it under the rug, but you did mention it. And that is all something that's very ballsy, uh, very correct to do. And why I was saying that this is not the correct format, it wouldn't be the correct format to really like dive into that and flesh it out. For a blog, a vlog, an ebook, it would be. And, then, and, and that would be something very personal, maybe not even with Andy around. It might be so personal that it's just you. Uh, mm -hmm. but, but to just kind of dive into that and share what you feel comfortable with on your format. Not to have Facebook or Instagram say, oh, this is too much, we're gonna pull it, but on your format. I feel that if, you know, there's a lot, there's probably a lot of pain there that you've been able to work through and it made you a stronger person. I feel that you, know, you can empower countless in the I just want like people to know that, you know, it's, it's not just, yeah, I'm going to quote my favorite, but it, the world's not all sunshine and rainbows. You know, you, you're going to fall off. You're going to do things that you didn't mean to. And then once you realize that that's not good for you, then you change that mindset. Okay, this is what I need to do. Right. And then, you know, everybody has their own like situation, but I'm always going to be there for anybody who needs that help, needs that push, needs to get out of that body dysmorphia and, you know, everything like that. Definitely. And even within the fitness, it's a real, real thing, a real problem. We've heard of the term bigorexia, which is also a real thing. And uh, mm -hmm. I feel like I, I want you to have the website. I want you to have a blog or whatever. But I mean, I, and I say whatever, because I, that's not what I really want. But I really want you to write a book. And, 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 I, and I, I know that ebooks are all the rage and maybe that's fine. We have it on Kindle or something, but I, I would love to see it. Like, I don't know, just like, like kind of like printed like this book here, because I feel like, it would be something that people carry with them, whether it's a journal, whatever it is, but just to like it up, just read some random part of the book and find some inspiration. And I think that that, I, I really feel like your journey would do that for people. And that's really because, because people are bullied to the point like that they'll even off themselves. I mean, it, it, it's that, yeah. bad, you know, and weight is a big factor. People, especially in this industry, as, as, you know, regrettable as it is, fat jokes, fat shaming are just, you know, everywhere here. 100%. I mean, it, it's sad that it is the way it is, but, you know, that's where you come into, you need tough skin. You need to be able to take the punches, switch it to positive, use that motivation to lift heavy. Every time somebody makes me mad, I go straight to the bench or the leg press. Right. And I'm trying to lift as heavy as I can. And 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 it's sad, you know that that. And again, I'm not. I'm, I'm the last thing I'm gonna say on the industry, but it's just it's sad how some supplement companies, clothing companies, get down in the fitness industry. Uh, Omni Muscle actually shared something ago where he talked about how some companies would not accept his sexuality. You know, PJ was all about it. Like he wanted right. first to know what pansexualism was. Once he knew what it was, he wanted to learn more. And, you know, very embracing and tolerant. I, I, I even tell people, look, if you want to embrace, okay, that's fine. But at least be tolerant, you know? Right. Always, you know what I mean? Um, and it's just it's upsetting, though, that in this we have a lot of people that just bring these, like, antisocial, like, like, like baggage with them. I wish they wouldn't. I wish we could just talk about food and just leave it, you know? Right, one hundred percent. But at the same time, though, anything that's making fun of overweight people should uh, not be. You know, I would not never recognize that. 
because I was a fat person. And the only thing from being what I is, you know, a couple, two, three bad a weeks, a month. You know, and I'll be right back where I was before. I'll just blow up. Right. Same. If I fall off, I, I I'll go back to the way I was. But honestly, regardless on your size, you have to love you. You right. have to figure out what makes you happy. And for me, being at the gym, beating the bullies every day, showing them that they were wrong, that's that's my like drive. That's my go. I get mad, I watch that video and I go. You know, I that you know, you gotta find that one thing that's going to flip your mind. You have to hit that one part of your rock bottom and your whole life is gonna change. You may lose friends, you may lose family, but you just keep going. A hundred percent, hundred percent, and like I, like you said, you have to love yourself because, you know, um, I smoke every once in a while, I drink every once in a while. But when I'm really bad, when I'm really in a hole, Carissa, honestly, I go and I, that's just my thing. Uh, mm -hmm. But after two or three days of it, what what am I doing? I'll write in my journal. I'll look up in there, whatever. I'll be like, what am I doing? But at the end of the day, I'm it, the food tastes good, but it only tastes good because I'm. I rock bottom, and I feel like just right. by just making it better. Not, and and then when I look at the scale, see how much close fits. So, so that's where the self love comes in. And if you really love yourself, hopefully, you know, you make up lost crown. Right. So, like when whenever I like eat dirty, which really hasn't been in a while, mm -hmm. um, but I'm like okay, yeah, you did that. You had this many calories. All right, let's go. Let's go work it out. You got this. And I, I, I'm trying not to like continue on saying like the gym literally is everybody's motivation, everybody's, you know, therapy. That, that's not even a joke. No. Two years ago, I was like, I'm not going to a gym. What? No, I'm not that person. But now I'm like, um, we're not going today. Well, I am. Yay. <laughs> And see, that's the thing to, to a lot of people, like what you just did, what I do with so many of us do, would be like utter insanity to actually have a conversation with ourselves, like kind of like the angel and the devil. But, mm -hmm. but it's real, it's real. And, and, and do it. I mean, I, I do it. I'm like, we're, we got to train today. You know, it, 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 it's almost like my personality disorder, but whatever it is, as long as I get to the gym, I'll be crazy in and out of that place. But I've got to go. I feel different when I go. 100% like this morning I woke up in a bad mood and I just went to work I'm like yay woo I'm like ooh Christian Duke tonight like <laughs> sure it's my mind up <laughs> and that, and that's one thing that I miss from like when I stopped uh, running the legion are these interviews and I, I just thought to myself look I'm uh, why do I have to stop doing the interviews like I mean I I'm on great terms with Blackstone they send me supplements we don't work together anymore but that's fine but the thing is though like there's so many great people like John Benavides, is like the running joke with him was that I was convinced I had interviewed him and I never had, but I just liked him so much. I thought I had already done one. So, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I'm just going to keep doing them. And Titan's got a great team also and interview them as well. But to me, this is what it's really about. You know, like I've interviewed Mr. Olympias. I've interviewed all the top champions are great people, but have they lost 200 pounds? Have they had, are they inspiring people on that level? They're not, they're just not. I mean, and that's why I think it's just so important what you're doing. And once, and I'm telling you, once you look, this is going to be crazy though. And I talked way too much, but I, I almost, I, in a way, I want to be a flying ball. Way I don't even want to be anywhere near it. But, but when you look the way you want to look, I, I just hope you're never in a situation where you're around people that are actually fat shaming because they think that you're one. Because they're going to see you and they're like, Carissa's jacked. Carissa's in such great shape. Surely she's, you know what I mean? Like, it's almost like, I feel like no matter how great of a shape I get, I will always be a fat kid at heart. Like, if I ever hear someone, oh, yeah. I hear them up, figuratively speaking. Sure, figuratively. Figuratively speaking, All right. No, I'm just kidding, yeah. No, I mean, I would, honestly, I've been around a few people that have, like, we're walking around and I heard someone over you know, I overheard someone saying something about my client. Well, she's not my full client, but you know what I mean? And I just looked at them. I'm like, are you exactly what you want to look like right now? Exactly. She's working towards her goal. And so are you enough. 
definitely. It's just people, people are sad. Yeah, and, and you know what? That's not even like like necessarily like hostile or, or passive. I mean, you just, just asked a very simple question and, and you rejected the behavior and, and you just did a very like, subtle, and that's all it takes. I think, just, you know, if you know it's not cool, they'll stop doing it. They're doing it for whatever insecurity they have. Uh, you know, like to me, this is a weird analogy, but like I have found in my 43 years that the most homophobic people are people. So the mm -hmm. thing, maybe they keep this person empowered, changing their life, even if it's not easy, but they're doing it. Maybe they hate them for it, you know? Who knows? Who knows? People are just sad, honestly. But Nobody can be like us. Right. We're happy people. We so, are. <laughs> what I'd like to do, I hopefully we could do another one of these, like, in a couple of months. I'd like to do, like, a little bit more often. Uh, I don't know, like... I'm going to brainstorm for you because like, not for you, but with you. Um, I just, I, I just think you have a great story. Um, I think people would pay to hear it. I don't know. Like it's, it's very interesting. Now the pandemic is over more or less. I mean, it's still around, but it's not like, full, like going nuts. There's so many. You could do. I mean, you could even do motivational speaking. I just don't want you to, to basically be, uh, on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram's dime. I don't want, I want you to be, speak freely. You can't really do that. There's certain things you can do. And sometimes you can be censored and you haven't even said anything wrong. But it, it just is what it is. I would really like, you know, I was just, I don't know. And I, I wouldn't want you to do it for free. I really think you, could, you can, have, I think you do real well. The thing is, it's getting the word out. And I just think a website is a way to do it or a or something. You and you got, you got to get crap on that. Yeah, we definitely do. I mean, please, let's brainstorm because I have no idea where to start. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll definitely, I'll, I'll talk to you a lot more. And because uh, I, I think I think you should do it. I don't necessarily think working with a company, getting a sponsorship is really the way to go. Only because you're going to make that money. You're going to make right. them all. You know what I mean? And what would it be for you? It would have to be like a really, really good situation where they could say, look, Chris, we can get you on X shows. We have Netflix and Hulu. We have contacts with, with podcasts. And a lot of, you know, it would have to be something like that. It would be like this. Like, they would get it all. Right. What would you get? Person powder. Like, it's just not, it wouldn't be worth it to you. You know? No. Um, I want money. Yeah. So, we'll, we'll, we'll think about one thing, also, one thing I would do is what uh, Leo Mayhofer is doing. Uh, also, he got himself his own video, and so he's okay. his own YouTube stuff. And he's got some. I suspect he's putting a lot of his. But but, investment. There's no better investment than in yourself. Right. All right. Well, you probably have more work to do. Uh, look at look how beautiful she is. Look at that. Yeah, so beautiful. Hi, everybody. Inside, especially, which is what really counts. Even when she's going to be a Jack physique competitor, she'll always be her. Thank you. We'll be in touch. Maybe a website Definitely. or something, okay? Okay, thank you. Awesome. Bye, Congrats everybody. 100 and the 50 to come.